Hello, and I've finished another from the book A Long List, and it's Audrey McGee's The Colony. Now, when I did my video about the books I was excited to read, this didn't come up. I'd read the blurb and decided, mm, yeah, maybe, maybe not. I was wrong. I loved it. And the characters are still with me. I, I finished this uh, two or three days ago. And the characters are still with me now. It's a book that stayed with me. And I was so surprised to like it as much as I did. Because when I read the blurb, I thought, well, you know, whatever. It's set in 1979. And it's set on an remote island off the west coast of Ireland and this island it's the very very few inhabitants and we follow um, one family really we follow Mairead who's a young widow who lost her husband her brother and her father in a fishing incident leaving her with a young son an infant son James um, so there's her there's her mother, there's her grandmother. There's also her husband's brother, Francis. And Michael, who's a, sort of a trader, boatsman, he takes stuff. He trades with the, the mainland. So that is the main community that we follow. And onto this island comes Lloyd, an English painter. And he comes because he wants to paint the cliffs. That's what he tells them. But actually, he's wanting to become the English Gauguin. And whereas Gauguin um, painted these women in the Peloponnese, you get the impression that he's going to be doing the same in on this island. Also come arriving on the island is a French linguist, Masson, or JP. And this island is one of the very few places where Irish is still spoken. So JP has been coming to the island, <coughs> excuse me, every year for the past five years to record and document the, the language to see how it changes. And he is absolutely furious when he finds that this English painter has arrived at the same time because he sees his presence as accelerating the eradication of the Irish because this painter can speak no Irish so the islanders are going to be having to speak English to him and so he can see everything that he has done in the past four years being blown away because of the arrival of one man. So you've got the conflict between these two. But you've got a lot more than that in this book. You've got the idea that Lloyd is, is he exploiting Mairead? Is he exploiting the islanders by doing the paintings that he said he would never do? The young lad James, when Lloyd finds out that he's gifted as an artist, he encourages him. But does that work out? And then you've got the conflict between, as I said, JP and Masson. As well as all that, because 1979 were in the Troubles, you have got, um, so between each chapter, between each section, you've got um, like a news report of a death. Um, the body of Joseph James Porter is spotted on the other side of the road on June the 24th and it details the people that are being killed over on the mainland as part of the troubles. Initially it's almost incidental you don't you notice it but you don't if you see what I mean but as the book progresses it encroaches you see the effect that the violence on the mainland it's, it's having an effect on the islanders and the gap between these reports seems to be getting shorter and shorter so you've got this 
like building violence, building, building up to a crescendo as the mainland affects the islanders. It is a wonderful book and, you know, sort of the language that she uses, I mean, it, it, it's this one when she's, um, do, do, where is it? His fingers working to capture the dance of shade and light that when perfected would allow him to begin with oils, blue, grey, green, black and beige for the cliffs, isolated beauty, continents outpost, empire's edge and black, grey, dark blue, light blue, white and silver for the foaming, glittering sea, and blue for the endlessness of sky, azure blue, sky blue, turquoise blue, gentian blue, cobalt blue, Prussian blue, Persian blue, France blue, layered and thickening. It's beautifully, beautifully written. And then in between, you've got these very stark reports of the deaths on the mainland and the effect that these two men have on the islanders. Um, I absolutely adored it. And Mairead and James, they're still with me now. So The Colony, Audrey McGee, I absolutely loved it. Uh, I never expected to, but I did. So that's another one that I've ticked off, off the Booker Prize long list. And I will see you next time. I'm reading Booth at the moment. So I'll uh, check in when I've read that one. So take care. Happy reading.